So it's your boy Downsizing. I'm back once again on my block with another hood classic. This one right here is a reaction to uh, Fl Flocko's diss of uh, Bozo, the clown. You know what I mean? Um, I feel you, Flocks. I do, dog. I, I, you know, it's quite offensive that one person like Bozo would think to speak for an entire side against an entire side as if he himself can speak like that. As if he's a top dog there that he can speak to such a degree. To speak so far down on, 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 on the brother man. The brother man, the brown man. Isn't that who he's talking about? Let me let me let me let me make sure let me make sure we got this straight. Isn't it isn't it isn't that who he's talking about? The Rasa up north when he disrespects him like that, when he puts him down? Is he is it isn't he not putting down the same brown man? But he's not he he he's not Chicano or or, or Mekano or whatever. He's something else, right? That's the word they're gonna say. Even if he is, no matter what, it doesn't matter. But that he himself is putting down the rasa for a cutter, for a side. So it goes back to what I've been harping on about California and how divided it is. And how cliche it is for any brown man over there talking about raza, raza, the cotorra, all this, bro. It is so cliche and so superficial. It's phony out there with that shit, bro. And you know why? Because you're all at war with each other. You know what I'm saying? On the one hand, it's all about raza. If someone else says something, oh, raza, go to war, blah, blah, blah. But who's your greatest enemies, if not your own kind? Bozo. Bozo made a statement that was disrespected, disrespectful to all brown men. Because it, 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 it says to everyone that in order to be something, you got to go to L.A. or you got to you got to go over there for that. No, homie. You got like fucked up, fool. You got like fucked up. You're a fucking bozo. Dude. It's no wonder Flacco dissed you like he did. It's no wonder that people take the shots at, at you like they do. I mean, because the bottom line is this, dog. It's like this. If this is about entertainment and about competition and entertainment for monetary value, monetary gain, so be it. Go diss for this. Blah, blah. Right? Because it sells. Then nothing gonna happen. We just gonna diss. We just, it's, it's funny games. It's entertainment. But if you feel a type of way, Bozo, I'm almost certain that Flacco will meet you in a dark alley by himself. You by yourself. I'm pretty sure Flacco will square up with you one on one. Pretty sure of that, bro. But the question is, 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 is Bozo the type, does he have the heart to go face someone like Flacco, heads up, one-on-one? -on -one? Or would he have to call on help and roll up a hundred deep? Because otherwise, what is he? What is he without his homeboys? That's the bottom line. What is Bozo without his homeboys but a clown? He ain't but a clown. And how he is so full of himself to speak down on all the brown as he did. From one side to the next, taking a shot at the North, North California, not realizing that what he said was a fucking slap in the face to everybody. Because it makes it seem like we all have to go there for that. We don't need that shit for nothing, fool. <laughs> On the contrary, people just need to learn, just need to know how to upload their streams, upload their music and where to upload it to. <laughs> In all reality, 
Nobody has to go there for nothing but to be entertained. It's Hollywood, homie. So, yeah, I mean, it's those bozos and those whack 100s and such people like that that insist on creating problems and divisions amongst the minority communities, which prevent us from, from a greater cause against our government so that we can stand up and fight for our rights. Now, we got bozos like that that are bottom feeders and ankle biters and eating off my toenails, man, type dudes. But um, <laughs> I hear you on that disc, fl <laughs> Flaco. <laughs> Oh, man. I think it's on a Convicts Reaction channel. I'm not sure, but um, I'll be sure to check it when I upload this video. But, yeah, you know, for all my little laughter right now, it, it, it's pretty serious, bro. It's pretty serious in this day and age when we've we've gotten so far divided. And I want everybody to understand that when you're talking Sudanio and Orthania, you ain't talking about nothing but how divided we are as a people. So don't sit there and sell the rest of us on your bullshit about your rasa and how much pride you have. You ain't, you ain't for the rasa, motherfuckers. You're in Orteno, you're Sudanio, and that's all you stand for. You don't stand for the rasa as a whole. You stand for that brand that comes from prison. That's it, period. So remember that. Are you on that set tripping shit? That stands in the way of us ever getting our shit together. Know that. That those brands stand in the way of us ever coming together. So what are they worth? Think about it. Peace. Mel.